Hello my friends and welcome to what some might think is a weird video, but I know at least Amy won't. Um, I am going to a cemetery today. I have been waiting for this day since June. Uh, it may seem a little strange to some, but I really enjoy cemeteries. I have always said that I would love to live next to a cemetery because your neighbors are always quiet. Um, I love the trees. I love the history. So yes, uh, yeah, it was in June. We bought a vehicle and Jared went to go, oh, he went to go look for a different one anyway. And he drove past the cemetery that sounds amazing. I've looked it up a little bit. It looks amazing. I have a couple different things that I want to be doing while I'm there. First of all, I'm bringing my composition notebook to do some writing. Like I said, cemeteries, there's just so much history. So I might write some poems. I might start some short stories. I might get some ideas for things for the future. Uh, so notebook and pen coming with for sure. I also thought that I should definitely do some reading while I'm there. And it has to be a book that will suit the mood. That's the only thing that makes sense. So I'm currently reading poems about trees in this really cute Every Man's Library edition. Every Man's Library Pocket Poets. Adorable. Definitely taking this along. Um, then there's two books which are massive. I'm not gonna like read both of these necessarily while I'm there, but I can't decide which one to read. So I've got um, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. This is a perfect book for this time of year. It's a fantasy book set in the 1800s, I think. It's like Victorian-ish era. Um, and I'm 320 pages. I still haven't read any more. Started it last year, haven't read any more. Very fitting for this outing, I think. But then I haven't started this book just based on the cover alone. It would be fitting. The Enchanted Lies of Celeste Artois by Ryan Grodden. I think I've given every one of Ryan Grodden's books five stars or at least like four and a half stars. They've been amazing. And this one is set in early 1900s Paris um, and it's got like a magical element and stuff. And the cover has a skull. So it seems pretty perfect. Um, so I'm gonna take both of them along as well as my poetry book do some reading. It is currently, according to my watch, six degrees Celsius, so not super warm. Um, my nose will turn red pretty quickly, but I want to do a little bit of reading. And then in addition, I'm going to take a couple other books to try to get some bookstagram photos. And I just want to wander around. No idea if there's going to be any, any leaves left on these trees or not. I want to look at the gravestones. I want to see if I can like think up some stories, look at them. I don't know. I really enjoy this. Half my family totally gets it. The other half is a little afraid I'm going to murder them in their sleep. So I feel, I don't, I don't feel weird that I enjoy cemeteries, except sometimes people make me feel like I'm weird, but it's okay. I'm okay with being weird. Hopefully I don't get kicked out of the cemetery. Um, but I'm just excited to spend my afternoon this way. Uh, so it's quite a drive. I'm going to gather my stuff together and then let's head out. you 
lots of background noise thanks to birds and vehicles and squirrels. But uh, this is inspiring. Already a decent amount of poetry has been written. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find another little spot. But cemeteries might be one of my favorite places to hang out. If only I didn't feel worried that I was gonna like get kicked out or something. That would probably help. Oh, there's a cute little spider walking on my book. Um, yeah, so much history here. survived the trip to the cemetery. Um, I'd give it like four out of five for a Canadian cemetery or like a Western Canada cemetery. The cemeteries here aren't the greatest. This place hasn't been settled for very long, so they're not very old. I mean, there's some graves from like the 1800s, but I don't know if there was really any 
other than maybe some kids that actually died in the 1800s like most people had died in the 1900s so not very old but it's kind of what you're gonna get around here I definitely want to go around to some other cemeteries in the city I think like one each season would be kind of interesting um, I would give it one out of four one out of five for the benches though no benches there was there was two benches through the whole thing and one of them I wasn't really sure if I should sit on it so that part not so good but okay cemeteries are very inspiring for writing poetry I sat and wrote a little bit and then I started feeling like oh hopefully people don't come check on me so I didn't sit there super long or write a ton but my plan is to maybe go over some of the video that I took and kind of mentally place myself back there and try to write some more very very inspiring also didn't do any reading um, because of the lack of benches I didn't want to sit on the ground it's kind of hard to know where to walk in a cemetery I do feel like cemeteries don't creep me out but I do feel a little gross when I walk on like uneven ground that makes my stomach churn a little bit so really my only plan for the rest of the day is to do some reading um, I came back and the 11 year old is so nicely making oatmeal chocolate chip cookies so I'm gonna have one of those while I read um, the book I'm actually currently reading is The House of Silk by Anthony Horowitz this is a Sherlock Holmes type story uh, novel I think it is a series and I'm enjoying it I read 171 pages 172 pages yesterday and I'm more than halfway done we are doing the monthly page count reading challenge over on my patreon so um, I'm trying to get as many pages as I can my goal was was it 700 or 800 for the week and I'm already at 1300 I think we st I think tomorrow's the last day I think we were going from the start of Friday to the end of Thursday so it's been almost a week um, but apparently last week I mentioned I didn't feel like I was getting a whole lot of extra time by dropping a booktube video it turns out I am and I'm spending that time reading a ton so yeah hoping to finish this today eat a cookie and see where else the day goes I'm feeling also very creatively inspired um write some poetry and stuff but first I want to finish this book full stop can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time morning evening and midnight such a wonderful delight Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be Okay, we are at the end of the week. Um, it's been quite the week. Not that there's like anything major that happened, but I went to the library today and thought I would do a little library haul and a quick little reading check-in. The book I'm currently reading is The Forgotten Book, which Charlene, whose channel I will leave linked below, she mentioned this book over on my patreon probably like a year ago maybe even more i don't know it was a long time ago and it sounded amazing and i got it out from the library before we moved but life was crazy couldn't get to it got it out from the library again almost didn't get to it it's due in like three days oh no is it due in like three days um and it's an interlibrary loan so it's like a 90 dollars fine if i don't bring it back and it's supposed to do a whole rigor rigmarole in order to renew them so i gotta get this done and i'm totally hooked i was kind of hoping i would read the first chapter and not enjoy it and i wouldn't have to um continue but this is giving me the dark academia fantasy type vibes that i am so craving right now if you guys get my Substack, my bookish newsletter that i send out each week I put out a request for someone to write or tell me if there already was a book with, that was like, kind of like Harry Potter but the characters are the teachers and apparently there's a book coming out like that in the spring I think so really excited um, but I'm just I'm feeling all the dark academia vibes hence the cemetery walk and this is a boarding school set in Germany though that this girl gets this kind of like magical book 
um, but it has those dark academia vibes that I was craving, the boarding school vibes I'm craving, so super excited about it. I've read like a third of the book, more than a third of the book in the last 24 hours, uh, most of which was at basketball today. So, so far really, really enjoying this and I have to read it in the next couple days. And then the other books, um, I mean, I got that one from the library a while ago, but the books I got today are Snow and Rose. I got this out for my daughter because um, Emily Winfield Martin, I love her illustrations and we were talking about her the other day and Reiko was asking if I'd ever read this book, which I have. She has amazing artwork. I read the story like a couple years ago. Wasn't a huge fan of the story, but the artwork, where's the picture of the boy and the mushrooms? Ooh, um, there's a cabin. I mean, yeah, here for that for sure. I just remember there being a, yeah, a really cool picture of a boy and some mushrooms. The artwork really made this story. It's definitely one that would be like beautiful to own and have on the shelves. I don't know when she plans on reading this because she did say she has a bit of a backlog in books, but I got this for her. It'll be a quick read. Like the font is big. There's lots of random pictures. Then last week, last weekend, I read, um, what was the book called? Remember Me. Um, and I instantly went and saw that the library had another book by this author, Chelsea Bobulski. Um, I didn't even read what this book is about. The other one had the gothic Jamie Jo Wright dual timeline vibes. It was it was very Jamie Jo Wright. And so I wanted to try another one of her books. This one's called The Wood. Do not travel from the paths. Do not linger after dark. Do not ignore the calling. All the leaves are black. Even Henry, who should not be able to see past the glamour that makes the wood look like all the normal trees surrounding it, sucks in a breath which means the glamour is fading, which means anyone passing by on 315 will see the dead withered branches and oozing black pus. I don't know. I'm just, I'm willing to try another one of her books because I loved the other one so much. The next one I saw someone on Goodreads had just read this and both the title and the cover caught my eye. The Body in the Garden, a Lily Adler mystery. Oh, is this book one? Um, Hopefully this is book one. Um, London, 1815. I didn't even read anything about it. I just instantly put it on hold. So I need to double check that this is actually book one. But London, 1800s. That is a great time period for me and mysteries. Um, so there's that. And then the last one I got is Locked in Pursuit by Ashley Weaver. This is book three in the Electra McDonald series. I'm pretty sure it's book three. It's the next one that I'm on. I think it's three and four is coming out soonish or something like that. These are set during World War II and our main character starts out as a locksmith. Her family is in that business but they also on the side are thieves and they get caught and then they get Put to work for the government stealing, stealing um, secrets for World War II mostly and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and I'm curious to see how long this series continues. Like, I'm always scared that a series is going to continue longer than it's worth, um, but I definitely enjoyed book one. I don't remember if book two was quite as good, but willing to continue at least. Um, yeah, so I only got four books out from the library and all the books that I have um, on hold right now I think I'm like either way down on a list or they're books that I've requested that the library purchase and they're not in yet. They've ordered them but they're not in so I'm like high on the list but the books aren't in so it might be a while before I have another little library haul but who am I kidding? I will probably think of more to request. I'm trying to not take out too many books from the library because I tend to prioritize library books. And right now I'm trying to pretty much get to TBR zero. So try not to get sucked in by all the library books. I guess I got four books out, but one of them's not for me. So three books plus this other one that I'm trying to finish here. So that's not too bad. Um, I'd love to hear if there's books that you guys have been getting out from the library lately. Let me know if you're the kind of person that also does or would enjoy a 
walk through the cemetery? Am I alone in this? I know I'm not completely alone in this, but like, how many of you would go through the cemetery with me? I'm curious to know. Does that bring as much joy to some people as it does to me? That sounds so wrong, but I think some of you will understand. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. I will be back again next week, although it's going to be a little different. I think my plan next week is to share a homeschool update. I mentioned a while ago that I was going to try to do one over on my homeschool channel, and I think just three channels is too much, so I'm going to do it here. That's my plan. So uh, next week will be homeschool themed, I think. That's my current plan, so we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. Thanks for being here and hanging out with me though.